Okay, crybabies, sit down, because we need to talk. So, the Portals tour officially began in Denver last night, and there are hundreds of Melanie fans who are incredibly disappointed for many valid reasons. And a lot of the people, if not all people who are at these shows, have been very long time fans of Melanie, since the beginning, like even before Crybaby, from the voice era. So because of this, I feel like a lot of the frustration is justified. But before I get into the many issues people have had with Melanie recently, I first want to give a shout out to today's sponsor, Paired. So Paired is a unique app for couples that's designed to help you and your partner bond in a really fun way through games such as You or Me and Would You Rather. They also offer some really cool quizzes to help you and your partner grow and learn more about each other. Paired contains a streak feature which encourages daily check-ins and boosts communication. And they offer a wide variety of research-backed tips from experts to help strengthen your relationship. And for couples who are looking to take the next step together, Paired also offers question packs to help guide you through really big life changes such as having kids and moving in together. And right now, Paired has given me the opportunity to give you guys 25% off of Paired Premium to welcome all of my viewers who are looking to maintain and deepen the relationship you guys have with your partners. So make sure you use the link in the description or in the pinned comment to start building a healthier and happier relationship today. Thank you to Paired for sponsoring this video and let's get back into it. Okay, so the VIP package for the Portals Tour is $400, which isn't bad, okay? But you don't really get your money's worth and a lot of fans have expressed so much disappointment with this. Firstly, when you bought a VIP ticket to one of Melanie's shows in the past, that guaranteed that you met her. This literally happened all throughout the Crybaby tour. But this time you get an interactive experience with Melanie, but she isn't actually there. You are essentially paying to take pictures with AI. And look, I personally think this is a really cute idea, but I think this is something that should have been open to everyone to use at the show because Melanie isn't there. If Melanie was there, flesh and blood, living and breathing, absolutely, charge whatever you want. But I feel like $400, it, especially because you can literally do this at home for free. You know what I mean? Melanie Martinez VIP meet and greet being a picture with an AI. She played y'all and y'all just handed her money. I love Melanie Martinez so much, but I'm so disappointed that VIP was $400 and her set is only an hour. That price doesn't even include a meet and greet. Please say psych about the Melanie Martinez meet and greet. The wording of it made it sound like the photo experience would be with her, not a filter. And not only did people get to meet Melanie before COVID hit, but when COVID hit, she literally had virtual meetings with her fans who bought VIP tickets. They got to have actual conversations with Melanie. So even though it was virtual and it was over technology, at least it wasn't AI. Another problem people who attended the show had was that it was just way too short. She only plays for one hour and then she leaves. And if anybody watching has ever been to any concert before, you know that they at least go for one hour and 40 minutes. Some people at the concert were saying you could tell the music was slightly sped up too. It's not just about the set list either. She rushed through the album and then dipped. That was the concert. And then a TikToker uploaded this video listing off all the songs they wish Melanie would play and then just asking her to come back. Sammy, it's over. It's time to leave. No, it hasn't. She hasn't played High School Sweetheart to Lunchbox Friends or Strawberry Shortcake or Teachers Better Reset. Her wheels on the bus or Dollhouse or Soap or Carousel or Pity Party or Mad Hatter or Play Date. Melanie, come back. This is why I sold my tickets. I'm not paying $700 for a one hour concert. Tickets are too expensive for just portals. I've been a fan for like six years, but I'm not going. It's low key not fair to the fans who missed out on her K through 12 era a couple years ago due to COVID. But also multiple people ordered the signed copies of portals and you could barely tell that any signature was there. 
And I feel like this one is also valid to be upset about because when you buy something that has been signed, you are paying more for it because it's been signed. But you also have to wait a little longer because the artist actually has to sign it. So when you pay for something for a specific reason and you wait longer than everyone else for that specific reason, only for it to come and for you to not even be able to see it, it would feel disappointing. But that wasn't the only thing that was wrong with the merch. Because people were ordering vinyls <laughs> and when they would put the record on the turntable, it would literally play Fallout Boy. And this didn't just happen to one or two people and then never again. This was a reoccurring issue. So could you imagine, right, just sit with me for a second. You order a signed copy of a CD or a vinyl or whatever, and not only can you barely see the autograph, but then you go to play it, say, in the car or obviously on your record player, and it starts playing Fallout Boy. <laughs> So, with all of these little things that have been happening over the past couple of months with Melanie not really addressing any of them, it's kind of just bubbled, but people have taken it in their stride and moved on. But it's almost as if the AI picture meet and greet is what was everybody's breaking point. The VIP didn't receive what they paid for, to be honest. All the merch pack came with was a poster and a tote bag, which is so different from K through 12's merch pack that came with actual wearable merch and things that went along with the album, like pencils and notebooks, which was only half of what Portal's VIP costs now. And while I personally don't have a problem with Melanie not performing songs from Crybaby or K through 12, I can understand why some people would. Because when I seen Liam Gallagher, Foo Fighters, Red Hot Chili Peppers, they all played songs that were released in the 90s. Now, if you're watching this video thinking that all of these people are just haters and they don't support Melanie anymore and that they're never gonna see her live ever again, you are watching this video in the completely wrong way. These people don't hate Melanie. They're just disappointed and that's okay. I still absolutely adore Melanie. Am I gonna never listen to her music ever again because of this? No. I have a poster on my wall. Am I gonna take that down? No, I'm not. Am I gonna unfollow Melanie? No, I'm not. And in no way is anybody putting all of the blame on Melanie because her management and her team play a big part in this. And all we can hope for is that Melanie and her team will see this criticism online and will try and change it for future shows. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Mwah! I love you all so much and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!